Well, I live in a non-Muslim country in Hong Kong, and I'm currently a student studying. So about three months ago, I came across one of your videos uh, where you said uh, the food delivery jobs are haram if the food you're delivering is impermissible. Am I correct in this? Of course, if it's impermissible, it is totally haram for you to be associated with that. Right, so after watching that video, I, you know, I quit, I stopped working there, and I promised Allah, I said it verbally, I promised that I wasn't going to work here again, and I was going to look for something else that was better and had a halal source of income. But it's been, it's been three months since then. Um, I've got one or two jobs, but they're, you know, I think, in my opinion, they're even worse than that. So that one job has free mixing, they have music, and so I don't go there as well. Right now, we, you know, I do, I, I have to help my family with, uh, with money and stuff. So my question was basically, if I go back to this job, because I can't find a better job that has a halal source of income. If I go back to that job, and like I said, I made a promise to Allah verbally, will I be sinful given the situation I'm in right now? Even if you did not make a promise, Akhi, you will be sinful. Imagine that you are delivering haram food to disbelievers. You're delivering beer. You're delivering whiskey. You're delivering pork. All of this goes totally against your belief as a Muslim, and you cannot carry these things, let alone feed them to others. So this by itself is sinful. All what you're concerned with is my verbal commitment to Allah. Wallahi, I will not work in such a job. This is an oath. If you break your oath, you have to feed or clothe 10 poor Muslims. And if you're financially unable to do that, you have to fast three, three days. And the, the sin of the oath is gone. But what's even worse than breaking an oath is delivering such food. Working in an environment that has free mixing and music is far less haram than delivering haram food. The music, you're not listening to it. You're not paying attention to it. So you're not sinful for that. And you're not the one who is turning it on. The free mixing, you can avoid by keeping it professional, lowering your gaze, not socializing, not flirting, not chit-chatting. Just keep it professional and uh, in, in, in the boundaries of business. Then you'll be fine, inshallah, and Allah knows best. 